What's going on everybody? It's Raf here. In this video I'm going to be explaining how you guys can help us get the game running smoother and uh, more optimized. So the hard part in, in my job is finding the cause of this, these lag spikes and other things um, because I don't have most of them most of the time. So it's important to get the data from the user, analyze it, and find out the cause um, but finding the cause is the harder part than actually fixing it. So, to help us out, which we would really appreciate it if you take the time to do so. If you're watching this video, you're probably interested. First thing you want to do is join our Discord, which I will be linking in the description. <coughs> Next, we have a profiling branch, which is where you're going to be sharing all your information that you find. <coughs> where you can see other users have already begun doing so. You'll need to download... Unity 2018.4.22, which is a rather quick download, and I'll be linking that in the description as well. The last thing you need to do uh, in terms of downloading is switch over to the profiling branch, which is basically the same branch as the staging branch, but in a development build, which means we're able to access a lot more data than a, than a standard regular build and if you're switching from the latest update to this to the profiler branch it should only take a few seconds so once you got unity installed you'll want to create a new empty project uh, you don't need anything special all you need is actual unity software which is free uh, you'll go to launch your development build we'll go ahead and hit play Once your development build uh, EXE is launched, you can go into Unity, so Alt-Tab to Unity, go to Analysis under Windows, so Window, Analysis, or you can just hit Control-7 for the profiler. Once this, this is the profiler, this is what's going to find all your data. Once you've got the profiler open, you want to hit uh, Editor and switch it from Editor to Windows Player, which means we're connecting the profiler to our open uh, version of Unity, sorry, of Emerge NYC. So from now you just want to play the game and what you want to do is try to look for or recreate the lag spikes that you experience and uh, try to record them. So for example, I know there's a lag spike when uh, when we hit skip tutorial and the only reason there is one is because the uh, scenarios are spawning so I'm gonna hit uh, for example if I want to capture what's in this lag spike I hit record on the profiler and you'll notice we have all this showing up here I'll hit skip tutorial we have a little lag spike there So you can see my frames are uh, having the lag spike now at, while it loads the emergencies. And then we can stop recording. So you can see where the lag occurs on the profiler. And you can click to drag through uh, the profiler data. <coughs> now you don't need to do any of this, but I'm just explaining how I'm able to track um, down lag and, and freezes. So you can see right here at this specific frame uh, when it was load preloading the scenarios it was using this time on the CPU so that's a lag spike right there and that's how that would look now this isn't really what you'd want to profile you'd want to profile things like when you have a house fire if you're lagging or if you have random lag spikes we're able to see what's causing that um, now once you capture that, s that lag in your profiler you want it to be within the left and right side of the screen because once it goes off the side of the screen it's it's done and you won't be able to see it anymore once you've got your lag spike recorded or whatever you want to record you'll hit save and you can save uh, your profiler data and once you save it you can post it in our profiling branch channel on discord and I, w I can go through it analyze it figure out why it's happening and fix it so if we can get as many people to help as possible uh, we'll be able to fix these issues a lot quicker and 
get everybody's game running uh, smoother. Anyways, that's really all it is. And if you take that little bit of time to help us out, we can really uh, work on getting the game running better for you. Um, anyways, thank you. If, if you. if you do help us, I really, really appreciate it.